with an introduction. What's up guys, welcome to Shed Talk. My name's Elliot, and this is my guest today, Damon Vincent. What's up guys? Damon's a 4-1 mixed martial arts amateur, uh, kick fit head coach. He's a uh, owner of Unique Fitness and Unique Smoothie. Uh, he's a lifelong wrestler and a fitness enthusiast. And I'm uh, honored to have Damon Vincent here to uh, talk with us about. Appreciate it, man. I'm excited to be, uh, be able to talk to you. Get to know each other. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. So we'll go ahead and look at this. That's fine. get more, man. Beneficial, that, like I understand why, like it's like some people see martial arts as their religion, yeah. and like I understand why because I think there's so many amazing benefits from it. Like it's a huge part of my life because uh, I think I think the main thing is uh, have you ever heard the song Johnny Cash's song A Boy Named Sue? Yeah, yeah. You ever heard that song? I've heard it. And he says uh, basically like you know the song is about like you know this this kid's dad left him when he was young and he named him Sue. So that he can learn to be tough. I think that the line is, uh, "Son, this world is tough, and if a man's gonna make, uh, son, this world is rough, and if a man's gonna make it, he's got to be tough." Yeah. Um, and so basically, like, you know, life is life is hard, but there's not many things harder or scarier to me than getting in a cage with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like that has been like, you know, I think about like the, the that like feeling I get in my stomach, and I'm just like. That if you, I think if you can learn to like overcome that, and learn to deal with that, and just get in there and do it, like you know, doing all the other things that I'm doing, coaching, building businesses, being a father now, like it's it's just another thing yeah. because I, I, I like consciously put myself through hard things, like I consciously like submit myself to that on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. I love. It. I think that's a that's a great methodology and and, uh, and way to to look at training. And, yeah, that's one of the things that uh, that interests me in, in in you is you you speak openly about that on your social media about right. doing something that's uncomfortable every day. Right. Yeah. So actually, you probably know Paul Toss. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, Paul Toss. Yeah, so yeah. Paul, so, yeah. Paul's a, uh, he Paul went to uh, STM a long time yeah. ago, and then now he's a ranger. He just graduated. He graduated ranger school, oh. and like Paul, Paul, me and Paul uh, fought on the same promotion way back. Uh, but anyway. I, that's kind of always been my thing, but I recently we had a, a military week for Unique Fitness, mm -hmm. and I had on guests from different branches of the military to talk to my yeah. uh, Unique Fitness members, yeah. and uh, Paul was one of them. And I remember him saying, "Like, do something that you hate doing every day," and uh, and you know that's kind of always been like you know there's a lot of guys like David Goggins. He says like stay hard, like Cameron Haynes. He has uh, like the keep hammering kind of thing, but I think that like men especially, but everybody, men especially can get real used to like vices and and uh, and just doing whatever we want. Because like it's so easy, like think about it, like back in the day we'd have to like raise our food or kill our food or whatever. And like that's that was our physical activity and our work. And now you just like go grab it out of the fridge yeah. and it's too easy. Our lives are too easy. Yeah. And I think if we don't like keep ourselves then we can just spiral downhill. Absolutely, you know <laughs> that's a great uh, that's a great uh, analogy. I, I think that's that's awesome. Yeah, that. shit. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next question. Uh, what do you enjoy most about coaching? And yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna show you this video after you answer this question. Right? Okay, cool. So, what do you enjoy most about coaching? yeah, the thing I enjoy most about coaching is being a, uh, getting to have. A positive impact on somebody's complete life, right? And so, um, 
two, two answers to the question. That and um, how much it motivates me to be the best I can be, being, being like an influence in somebody's life, right? So like, for example, if I have, you know, I have a bunch of clients, probably over 100 people that I have an influence on yeah. in my KickFit program, in my unique fitness program, like the amount of people that like I touch weekly is over 100 and those people need to have someone, like basically I need to walk the walk yeah. and I need to give them somebody like, all right, like this dude's doing it too. Yeah doing it with them, you know, I'm suffering with them and uh, trying to be the best I can be with them. And so like, it's, it's weird, like coaching is a giving thing, but there's so much that comes back to you because of it too. Because like, you know, like that, whenever you don't want to get up and do that workout or you don't want to train, like there's people watching. Yeah. There's people watching you, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you better, you better lead, you better get it done. You know, so I'd say that's, that's probably, that's probably it. Man, I like that. I think that one second. Go ahead. Make sure I'm not a dummy. All right, cool. Because uh, I've had a couple of like, uh, man, I think, cross my T's and blah blah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Missing cool stuff. Missing good, yeah. For sure. All right, cool. To the back to. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna ask you to watch this video of yourself, and I want you to tell me what you were thinking when this happened. When okay. These, these this stuff was going on. Cool. That's way back. That's what, 2000, six years ago. Six years ago. Wow, longer. 2014. <laughs> wow. This is UFC gym. It is back in the gap. Yeah. Wow. How old were you right here? I was 18. Yeah, I was teaching, teaching arm drags and uh, and trips to kids. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to have one state the year before that. Hi, uh, I'm David Vincent. I run the youth program here and do some cleaning as well, membership stuff every once in a while. Uh, basically, Fresh the youth program, we just try and get kids introduced to the MMA and mostly folk style wrestling, and it's based on a point system. It's really good fundamentals for footwork, hips, uh, discipline, and just getting people to have fun. And So you're smashing this game. Yeah, I mean, I had no other, I had no, it's like, yeah. they literally, I think so, the gym had just opened up, like, a few months before, and they were like, I, you know, they were like, all right, go ahead, and I was like, that's it, like, and I'm like, good luck, and I was like, okay, great, fun, so. Yeah, you so, did it, I mean. We did it, man, yeah, we, we actually went and competed with, uh, we competed in the Como Junior Wrestling Tournament, and, uh. I mean, yeah, considering how, like I said, considering I was 18 and had no idea what I was doing, I, that's kind of when I was like, okay, maybe, that's kind of when I was like, yeah, maybe I'm supposed to coach. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I guess, man, I, just watching that video of you seeing, like, how right you were at 18, knowing how, how the, just the details of what it does for people, right? right? And, 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 and you knowing that that's something that, that you. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think, man, I had a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big, like, I'm a real big believer, obviously, in mixed martial arts, what I was just telling you guys, but even, like, wrestling did that same thing for me. Like, wrestling made me, wrestling and football made me a man, really. Like, that was, you know, I remember those days, thinking back to that, just how tough it was. And uh, I just think all people need that, you yeah. know, but especially kids, especially kids. So I just like I'm so thankful for that. That I, I, I think it was cool that I got to give that back. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So I got a, you just struck a bonus there for me. It's a bonus question. So uh, I played college football. I love football. Nice. I'm curious what position you played in football. So I actually played left tackle. Nice. And uh, it was because I was a, a decent wrestler, obviously. So I was like the lightest on our line by like 100 pounds. Like everybody else on our line was like 250, 260, yeah, yeah. obviously. And uh, I played less tackle at like 165. Wow. Um, but could, I could move my feet, yeah. I could use my hips, and uh, I, ended up, I ended up being all district, uh, first team all district. Yeah, yeah. The first team all parish uh, awesome. as well. For, so, uh, at what size were uh, you? D3, uh, 3A, sorry. What size were you physically? 
uh, like five six, one sixty five. Man, that's incredible. Yeah. Dude, all so, district uh, linemen. All that's district linemen, five six, one sixty five. Wow. Yeah, but I was just like kind of mean yeah. and like a decent wrestler, and I moved my feet, and I, you know, I was I was real strong for my size too. Yeah. Uh, but like it, you know, I probably would have played another position, but I'm super slow. Okay. That's one thing about me. Like I'm like slow, like. Above five yeah. in the forty yard dash, okay. like slow, okay. <laughs> but I'm real strong, and so uh, and so that's that's where they put me in. We ended up going four. We're like seven and three my senior year, and uh, went to the second round playoff. Blah, blah. Fun okay. times, awesome. I love it. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. All right, something a little bit lighter. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah, I'm a big berry guy. I love berries. Yeah. They obviously don't spike your blood sugar as much as other fruits yeah. do too. And uh, I'm, I just love raspberries and strawberries. Perfect. I love it. Thank you. I actually had some raspberries on some uh, gluten free pancakes last night. Oh, not <laughs> gluten free. <Yeah. laughs> well, I think they were. Yeah, yeah. They're pancakes. called Tam Cakes. They're, uh, they're at, uh, my mom makes them. Okay. Uh, this, this lady sells them. Uh, she has a mix. It's, it's gluten free, she says, and it's, they taste like pancakes. Really? Yeah, I'll be down for that. Pancakes. So, so uh, all right. Uh, now I want to ask you. And I was asking a bunch of all my other guests, I'm asking them, hey, what's your favorite submission to hit on a white belt? Because I'm a white belt. I don't really know shit. About yeah, right, right. You're still all this stuff. So I'm still kind of asking dumb questions. Mm -hmm. So basically, not necessarily what's your favorite submission to hit on a white belt, but what's your what's your what's your favorite submission? My favorite submission is always I always find myself um, in arm bars and triangles. So I, I kind of started like uh, I actually started with Harry Duyon at Universal back in the gap, and they, uh, yeah, that was like 2013 or 2014 I started, and um, very, very uh, old, old style, you know, old school submission, combat submission wrestling is kind of what they do, and then started training with uh, Heath and Tim and all those guys, and uh, you know, arm bars, triangles, I, I can transition real well from like triangle to arm bar, back to bows, blah, so, uh, I like doing like inverted arm bars and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite, uh, my favorite one to see. Because you can switch from arm bar to Kimura, throw the arm back across, back to triangle. Like yeah, I like yeah, to flow. Cool I like to flow in those areas. Not a football guy. Okay. Don't like playing foot. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I like it. Uh, cool. Thank you for that. Um, so I'm gonna ask you about this other video now. Did some research, huh? Yeah, a little like, bit. All right. This one right here, bro, I just like, I love it, man. I mean, this is amazing. My oh, man, Scott, you should see that guy now, bro. Really? He is, I have to find a picture of him. He is freaking yeah. swole, That's bro. Awesome. Like, he's like got ripped up, like yeah. Dell, he's got like a Dell line of, Tricep line of bicep. So I was approached to do the Dreams Foundation's uh, special needs fitness class uh, three years ago by a friend of mine uh, that I knew from Our Lady of Wisdom. And her mom founded the Dreams Foundation and they had never had a fitness class before. They had had a few other uh, activities. They had art, they had basketball, softball, dancing, a few other activities, but they didn't have a fitness class. And so I thought, man, this would be an awesome opportunity. I've, I've always loved uh, working with special needs, but I was a little bit afraid because there was nobody really to follow behind. There was no formalized around here, yeah, especially um, special needs fitness Courage. crunch. And you know, um, yeah, I was a little bit afraid. No, but it sure was wasn't. Eventually, it sure know, wasn't. I realized I started to think like what I've learned from being a martial artist, what I've learned from competing and fighting in the past, I've learned that the people around you are what make it happen. Like the, the fight. The fight is part of it, and that fight is the process of that is is what helps build people, helps build people up, and what helps people realize that they can do anything they want to do. And so I thought that if I could give these kids a place um, and a class to come and learn, that I'm on the bottom. Yeah, that's Steven. He has a certain policy. And so he begins to put ourselves in challenges. Real high functioning, and we also surround ourselves to a point where, like, if somebody wasn't through those situations, aware or educated, like. That we are capable, they almost might. We are able. Like he, he, he was more vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable so to where he might, like might like try and like pick on him in school. And, school. and so, uh, they approached me to teach him some self defense and stuff. Where they so, come from, they come with their peers, 
Yeah, I know Bailey. Oh, you know Bailey? Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend Brent's going to come work out next week, and I can't wait to have Brent here to work out. Oh, Brent's your boyfriend? Yeah. I know you're talking about. Yeah. When they leave. I'm good friends with Brent's family, and uh, I've been kind of strong. That's easy. I actually reached out to him this morning and said, hey, I need to schedule this class with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to work out with Brett. You know? Cool, so man. That's you fun. basically inspired me to schedule a class, uh, my first class with a, with, with Brett. And cool, we, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that. dude, of course. That's, you know, we can spread this out. That'd be awesome. I'd like to see, like, unique fitness or even if it's, if, like, you know, you're going to work with him. You can call it whatever you want. I'd like to see people like that working out yeah, everywhere. Exactly. Like if I could start a trend, you know, that'd be That's exactly what you're doing, man. That'd be awesome. I'm that'd just letting you know that's what you're doing, bro. Yeah, um, man. I appreciate it. It's so, exciting. Super exciting. It's cool. I'm, uh, I appreciate uh I appreciate the inspiration to want to do that. Yeah. And man. I'm glad that you have the like uh, the security in yourself to say, hey, I wanna see y'all do it anywhere. no matter what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of, I think, uh, I think Ronald Reagan has a quote, and he says, uh, if you, you know, if you don't care about who gets the credit, there's no amount of, uh, there's no limit to the amount of good you can do. And so, like, of course, like, I'd like to branch and eat fitness out and yeah, yeah. have gyms all over, and I'll probably, one day I will, yeah. but if some, as long as it's getting done, yeah, yeah. that's what I care about, yeah. you know, like, like that, it doesn't matter, like, where you train at or whatever, just, like, do something. Yeah. You know? I, I love that. I think yeah, unique fitness, I'm gonna I wanna bring my sister there. That way I yeah. can get some real because it seems like you have experience with him, you know, yeah. uh, to like being around and, and, and communicating with and feeling where they are in their fitness and, and right. assessing their needs locally. Like you're right. not just guessing or saying correct. You're exactly. prescribing from experience and hands on yeah, a lot, a lot of studying, a lot of studying, a lot of certifications, a lot of, and, and, and like experience, like thinking about what we used to do in class, to like what we do now is like completely different. Like I, there's stuff that I don't do yeah. at all anymore because it's not good for them. Right. And there's stuff that I never would have even thought. So like, yeah, it's, it's evolved. It's taken me six years to like, okay, this is what they need. Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. The perfect mix of like, the perfect mix of okay this is what they need physically this is what they need socially this is what they need emotionally and then what do they like to do because yeah. like if you, you can't just like drive them the whole, it's right. not like you know if you train me right here and you crush me it's all good but you do that to somebody to a unique individual they're not gonna want to come back right yeah you know what i mean no so you have to figure out like okay what's good for them what do they want to do and then like all right, that's what that's what we're gonna, we're gonna find that that middle ground. I like that. It's got to be a it's got to be like 50 50 like uh, yeah. client uh, Nick. And he, he probably enjoy this story. He uh, he was an all state football player, all state baseball player, like an athlete dude. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was at UL, got in a real bad car accident, and uh, had a traumatic brain injury to where like yes yeah, his, his 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 speech isn't there anymore. He when he started with me uh, two years ago. He couldn't walk without a walker. Wow. Like he had to use a walker. Yeah. And I think this guy is, used to be an all-state football player. Yeah. And I, here I am, like teaching him how to walk again. Right. And like for the first few like months, he hated it because he's like, "Dude, I want to hit the weights." Yeah. And I was like, "I know that, man, but like heavy squats is not what you need right now. Like we need to teach you how to work your motor skills again." Right, right. You know. And, and then I finally figured out, like, well, maybe for you know, eighty percent or seventy-five percent of the of the uh, private, we can do what he needs, and then the last twenty percent, we do we turn it up and and you know let let him feel what yeah. that that push that he enjoys, yeah. you know. So uh, I, th I think that's kind of like the biggest thing is that mix of what they need yeah. and what they want. Gotcha. It's not always the same thing. It's true. No. It's true, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, dude. Go ahead. All right. Easy question. Aliens. Ah, uh, what a great question. <laughs> That's not an easy question. Uh, it's light, it's light, it's not easy. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to say yes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say yes. I just think there's no possible way that we're the only form of life yeah. in the entire right. universe. I just think it's hard. 
hard, hard to really like, you know, that would mean we're super special. And we are. Yeah. But we are special. But like, to think that we're like the center of the universe, yeah. I don't really know. Is there any, so is there anything that maybe you would like to see out of aliens or like the thought of maybe, like what's something that good can come from yeah. some disclosure or maybe some technology or That's, I, I'm thinking more of like a, more of like a utopia kind yeah. of. So like I think that there could be a form of, you know, a better, a better way to live, yeah. that we're living now, <laughs> for lack of a better word, like, we're probably not doing this yeah. all the way right, right. It's, well, it's pretty rough out yeah. there right if you, now. If you add up the way things could be, and um, honestly, there's so many damn people, but, yeah, you so, know, like, if you work together, it's probably, yeah, so I'm thinking, like, maybe, maybe there's some sort of, you know, and I'm, I'm definitely not, like, a, you know, I, I don't believe in, like, not to get political, but I don't believe in, like, socialism or anything like that like i understand that like we, you know yeah, yeah. where we are is the way to go but just like man i feel like we're so far off now that it's gonna be hard to go back yeah like it's gonna take a lot yeah. for us to get back to how things are supposed to be so and so i think it'd be cool to have another society maybe that like we could we could model after yeah. even or just learn things from right you know the way they do things maybe there's something we're missing yeah. i don't know yeah. like obviously besides being better people, right? That'd be number one. But maybe there's like something that we're not thinking about. Yeah. You know, awesome. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Okay. Hamburger. I hate, I love hamburgers. I love hamburgers. I have a problem because they're not good for me. They're not good for you. They're not good for but they're so good. they're so good. So my favorite hamburger? Yeah, well, yeah. How would you build it? How would you like it? Where, well, I'd where get it from a restaurant. Where, okay. It would be from a restaurant, no doubt. Yeah. Um, so, I'm a big Judy Sand guy. Yeah. I like the the more compact, wider hamburgers. Yeah. So double double uh, double cheeseburger from Judy Sand. Add the fried egg. Yeah. Add grilled onions. Add the secret sauce. Nice. Pretty legit. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow, that's the one I never had. Judy Sand. You never had Judy Sand? Not the one the way you make. Oh yeah. It. Double grilled double onions. Grilled fried egg. Fried egg. Lit. I'm gonna try it. Gua guacamole, guaca, guacamole burger from Grub. Oh yeah. Very good. The Got second, guacamole. the second guacamole Grub burger. That's been the mention. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kyle wow. Sherman. Kyle really? Sherman Kyle Sherman. Sherman. Good guacamole. taste, yeah. man. Um, let's see. I think that probably uh, ranch burger from Legends. Good. Um, I think that probably be that probably be it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that. All right. Last question. Mentally spiritually and physically something that helps you or benefits you in all three areas or you can say something that covers each separately I'm gonna do both so mentally physically spiritually I'm gonna say um, obviously training but uh, I would say even more so like uh, like running because running you can obviously you get a, you get a great workout in get time to be by yourself and reflect on the things that you know I'm a big believer in like uh, go go towards the pain right so if there's something that's bothering you like I really think we need to address it yeah. I think a lot of the stuff like I made a post the other day I don't know if you saw that about like uh, the George the George Floyd basically I said like that officer I don't think it was a maybe it, there is some racism involved yeah. yes but I think the main motivator was like his need for like Power. Yeah, so yes. So, and I think that's because he probably had some issues that he never dealt with, and he kind of felt helpless. And that was an opportunity for him to have power. To have power yeah. And so, I think that that if we don't address things that are bothering us, they manifest in violence, right? So, so running, get some time by yourself, you get a great workout in, and you can also pray, or you know, I, like I pray the rosary sometimes while I'm running, or I'll. Uh, I'll just listen to podcast or whatever. Yeah. So I would say like running, not so much like a class like this because you're so engaged, right. but something where you get some alone time, biking, running, yeah. rowing, right. uh, stuff like that. Yeah. I would say for all three of them. And then uh, obviously my favorite form of, uh, uh, like my favorite thing to do mentally is like um, to either like be outdoors. So like make a hunt by myself or uh, go for a walk outside by myself or 
and I also like uh, just like the coffee with a buddy and like we just yeah. lay out how we're feeling mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a therapy session yeah. but friend to friend right. I really enjoyed that a friend Chad we made coffee last week and it was cool like we just like yeah. man this has been tough and we just so talked you, it out you get stuff off your chest yeah yeah, yeah. that's one of my favorite things to do mentally emotionally and then uh, physically obviously uh, a big big I train martial arts purple belt jiu jitsu Purple rank and Muay Thai, big fan of that. Also like to lift hard um, because <clears throat> like um, lifting is super good for your your hormone levels, yeah. right? Your cognitive levels. Like I think if you just train all the time, you kind of miss out on some of those benefits from lifting. And then uh, and then spiritually, obviously, just like I try, I'll try and go to mass during the week. Uh, like I had a routine going for a while. I go to six thirty a.m. mass like three times a week. Um, so I really like to start my day with um, mass or um, adoration or some sort of some sort of prayer. I don't think you can get better spiritually than just like praying. Yeah, for sure. You know, like I think I think that that's what you uh, you have to do. Awesome. Thank you for that, man. I really appreciate it, man. Of course, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Yeah. So different from normal shed talks, Dane is gonna get a workout today. Yeah, man. I'm pumped. He called me and he wanted to work. Yeah, out. yeah. I need I need some work on my conditioning, man. Yeah, that. so I, I've been lifting. Like I said, I, I love to lift. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't need anybody pushing on that, but I hate to run. Yeah. And I hate to do cardio and I hate yeah. to condition. So I figured uh, it'd be fun to mix. I could learn something yeah, from you. Stuff, yeah. I could learn something from you. You know, you can learn something from me. I would love to come to Union Fitness Center. Yeah. And, AKs and do some, some strength training with you. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Play us off. All right, so uh, thank you for that, man. Of course, thank man. Let's get some strength. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate Thanks, it, man. Yeah. That was awesome. That was fun.
deadlift some one weight there, as opposed to going outside and having a plank. Should we go deadlift somebody? Yeah, this, this, once you put my back on this, I'm holding me, and then you just take my legs out.